Dr. Arduk Majin with the Duke Spine Institute, and we're going to discuss 30 causes of chronic back pain. Chronic back pain is back pain that lasts longer than six weeks, and there are 30 causes of chronic back pain. The most common cause is going to be a disc injury. Disc injuries such as disc herniations, disc bulges, disc ruptures, degenerative disc disease account for 86% of chronic debilitating back pain and they are totally fixable with the proper treatment. The best treatment for disc injuries is Duke Laser Disc Repair. Let's take a look at the five lumbar discs that can be injured. The most common disc to be injured is L45 followed by L5S1, then L3-4. The L12 and L23 discs are far less commonly affected. Next, we have facet joints. Facet joints are small joints located behind the discs in the back of the spine. There are 10 facet joints, each paired left and right, L12, L23, L34, L45, and L5S1. The most common facet joints to cause chronic back pain are L45, followed by L5S1, followed by L34, in that order. After the facet joints, which account for approximately 10% of chronic back pain, we move on to the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint accounts with the piriformis muscle for approximately 4% of of chronic back pain. The sacroiliac joint is a joint located between the tailbone or sacrum and the iliac bone. There is a left and right sacroiliac joint. In this diagram you can see the joints turning red indicating inflammation and pain either in the left or right sacroiliac joint. These sacroiliac joint injuries and pain can be treated most effectively with the Duke plasma rhizotomy of the SI joints offered at Duke Spine or Duke Joint Institute. The fourth most common cause of chronic back pain is a piriformis muscle injury. The piriformis muscle is located in the buttock and there is a left and a right piriformis muscle. The muscle gets torn, unfortunately, when people bend the wrong way. This usually occurs in patients with orthopedic problems such as hip pain, knee pain, or back pain. By bending improperly, they put the muscle under too much stress and they tear the muscle. The torn piriformis muscle causes severe debilitating pain in the top of the buttock. There is a left and a right piriformis muscle and this can be treated most effectively with the Duke piriformis muscle release. This is performed percutaneously with a 4 millimeter incision. The sciatic nerve does run through the piriformis muscle and many patients with piriformis muscle syndrome also have sciatic pain down their legs with pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness in the leg that's affected on the side of the piriformis muscle. Piriformis muscle can be treated with injections such as steroids, Botox, PRP, or stem cells. However, those injections always wear off and the patients end up coming back with the piriformis muscle pain that reoccurs. The most definitive treatment for permanent relief of piriformis syndrome is a piriformis muscle release. Next, injuries to the bones of the spine touches the vertebral bodies with trauma can cause fractures of the vertebral body. Vertebral body fracture is diagnosed with x-rays or CAT scan or MRI and they're treated with injection of cement into the vertebral body. Looking at the vertebral bodies, the most common to be affected is L1 followed by L2, then L3, L4, and L5. The sacrum can also be fractured. Finally, the coccyx is the last cause of chronic back pain. You can see in the diagram the red coccyx at the bottom. This comes usually from an injury where the patient falls on their bottom, sustains pain at the tailbone, and this can be treated with injections of the coccyx ligament. These are the 30 most common causes of chronic debilitating back pain. The most common being the disc causing 85% of chronic back pain, followed by the facet joint causing 10% of the chronic back pain, followed by the piriformis muscle and sacroiliac joint which cause 4% of chronic back pain, totaling 99% of chronic back pain, which is totally fixable and curable with the right treatment. Thank you. I'm Dr. Duke Majin. Thanks for joining us.